Hello everyone, macro photography. You know when you see those really stunning shots of like insects and flowers really close up? Well, I wanted to try that out. So what did this idiot do? Mm. Saved up and went out and bought himself a macro lens. And I bought myself a Canon 100mm f2.8 macro lens. There it is. So let's go and get this bad boy opened and then see what we can do with it. Now if you've come for an in-depth review on this lens, you're not going to get it because I'm just an enthusiastic amateur. But nonetheless, let's see what we can do. So I've come to Manchester's biggest park and we're going to go into the woods and try and film some beasties and spiders and flies and see what we can find at macro level. So I've got my macro lens, proper heavy that, if you give that your dad or your granddad, they go some weight in that sun, proper quality that. So that's the setup. let's go and see what we can do. I've also got my t-shirt on that makes me blend in with the wildlife. Okay so into the woods, I'm sure we can find something we can film and photograph in here. Right, I found a spider's web. You can't see it, but where that, those two stuck tree trunks are, there's a web there with a huge spider just in the middle of it. I'll go and try and get some shots of it. So here's our friend. It looks like he's just wrapping his dinner up. Now suddenly I decided that I'd put the camera in video mode to see what sort of shots I could get. And I was really pleased that I did. So after filming this monster for a while, he scurried off and then we found him hiding in a curled up leaf with just his hairy legs sticking out. <clears throat> and obviously the one I really want is the bee on the flower but that's been really hard to do because the minute I get focused on the bee, the bee's gone. <laughs> so that shot might elude me for the minute. Okay, so a little cheat here. I'm back home and I'm on the windowsill in my kitchen. I found this little fella. That's an idea, water shots. So this took about 40 attempts of just dripping water into a bowl in my kitchen sink, but finally I got it. And then of course I did the inevitable flower shots, which turned out quite nice. I was quite pleased with them. And this was some sort of weird spider's web on my front doorstep. No occupants though. No expense spared. Model trains. There you go, plenty of uh, beasties there with some scary music thrown in. I was quite pleased to be honest with you with what I got with that lens. It was really good. Uh, I felt a bit like David Attenborough at times. In fact, David Attenborough, eat your heart out. BBC, give me a call. <laughs> so, in my next video, it's going to have a similar theme. I bought this from Amazon. Um, it's a clip-on lens for your phone. And we're going to see what kind of results this can give us as opposed to the macro lens. So stay tuned for that. I'll be doing that very soon. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video.